forward button. All right, so get nice and comfortable in your chair. Make sure you have your weights and your straps. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Close your eyes down and just really enjoy your breath here. And the devotional I'm reading from today is from a book called 31 Days of Praise. And I think I've read from this before for this class, but I really, really love this book and I read it over and over. You, it, you're actually meant to read it over and over. You do 31 days and then you do it again or maybe you take a break and do it again later, which is the way I do it. I just pick it up every once in a while. But it's a wonderful devotional and I just couldn't get past this one on day 10. And it's, oops, I need to turn that off. It's uh, largely about just dealing with our weaknesses and our inadequacies and how God sees them. So um, reading from the 31 Days of Praise devotional while you rest in your chair, it says, I choose to thank you for my weaknesses, my infirmities, my inadequacies, physical, mental, emotional, and relational, and for the ways that I fall short of what people view as ideal, for my feelings of helplessness and inferiority, and even my pain and distress. What a comfort it is to know that you understand the feeling of my weaknesses, and that in your infinite wisdom, you have allowed these in my life so that they may contribute to your high purposes for me. So what a wonderful way to look at 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And we know that that talks about our weaknesses and how God shows up in those weaknesses and how God is powerful in our weaknesses. And it says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. So Paul's talking about actually boasting, actually boasting about his weaknesses, being thankful for his weaknesses because that's where God's power shows up and gives him strength. So I know we all have weaknesses. We all have inadequacies. I know I have tons of them, tons of faults. So I love this perspective. It just helps us kind of with that paradigm shift of looking at our weaknesses differently through God's eyes and how he has purpose in them. And with that, Take three or four more breaths. Just reflect on that for a brief moment. job you guys so let's sit tall on our chairs take a big breath up plant those feet on the ground exhale float those arms down do that again take a big big stretch up reaching all the way up exhale float it down and we'll do one more big big breath up stretch all the way up we're going to stay here so take your right wrist in your left hand and gently give a nice pull a nice tug to the side Stretching out the side of your body and looking up under your top arm. Very nice. Let's come back into center. Float the arms down. Exhale. Inhale. Take it up. Take that opposite wrist. Gently tug it over to the side. Stretch out the side of the body. Try to keep your shoulders here squared off. Don't twist. We don't want to twist. Okay, we want the shoulders towards the front. A little gaze up under that top arm. 
and release. Come on back into center. Float the arms down. Take a big breath up. Inhale. We're going to fold. So bring the body down. Sweep the arms back. Take it all the way up. Inhale. Do it again. Body down. Sweep back. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale. Take it down. Inhale up. And one more here. Exhale. Take it down. Inhale. Take it up. Great job. Bring your arms in front. We're going to take the palms up and open shut. Open shut. Just working into those hands. Keeping those arms nice and strong. About level with your shoulders. And then take your palms down. Open shut. Open shut. Warming up those hands, getting some movement, staving off arthritis, right? Want to keep those fingers nice and strong, the tendons and bones, keep them strong and supple. So let's take two fists, circle out your wrists. Very nice. We'll take a couple more. Make sure you're sitting tall. Make sure your posture is good here. Let's go ahead and reverse. Open those hands wide. A nice stretch here. Really think about pulling your thumb away from your first finger. Get that space there. Widen that space between your thumb and your first finger. Super job. And we'll take a couple more here. Very nice. Float the arms down. So just working into our shoulders. We're going to lift our shoulders up and then drop them down. So inhale, lift them up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, take them towards your ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We'll take two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And one more. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Very nice. So just close your eyes. And make some circles with your nose. I'm going to start with small circles and then make some big circles. Working out any kinks in your neck. Making some nice big circles now. So let's gently reverse, starting with big circles here. Working out those kinks and then going into some smaller and smaller circles. And just taking a couple more little circles. All right, super job, you guys. Take your left leg out. We're going to spell the word Jesus with our big toe. I'm going to kick my shoes off here. So with your big toe, take a J, capital J. Take an E, capital E, all capital letters. Take an S, take a U, and then take another S. And then we're going to do the word strong. So take your S, make a capital T, then for your capital R, Capital O, good job you guys. Capital N, work those feet in all these different ways. Capital G, nice job. Let's do the other leg. So with that big toe, or about your J, your capital E, your capital S, U, and S. And then we're gonna do the word strong. So do that S again. Just notice all these nice movements in your foot. Capital T, capital R, capital O, capital N, and capital G. All right, super job, you guys. Way to go. Come on back into center, and we'll take a big breath up. Inhale, and float it down. Exhale. Go ahead and grab your towel or strap. So we're going to take that overhead. So as always, we want to pull really tight, really Make that towel or strap really taut. Okay, so be as tight as you can. Then we're gonna inhale, stretch up. So just lengthen up through the crown of your head. Feel the shoulders, everything reaching up towards the sky. And then exhale and take a twist and lift back over your back shoulder. And then bring it on back in the center. So do it again. Inhale, lengthen up. It's just a little tiny little movement here, just stretching everything up. 
and then exhale and go the other way, looking back. Great job, you guys. Bring it back into center. So we'll do it again. So inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist. Bring it back into center. Great job. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist. Come on back into center. Nice job. Let's take it over to the side. So you're going to have a longer strap maybe or a shorter strap than me. So whatever works for you, okay? So go over to the other side. Stretching out the side body. So let's come center. We'll do it again. Over to the side. Over the other way. You know, make sure your shoulders are squared off towards the front of the room. Again, we don't want to be twisted like this. Okay, everything is towards your screen. I would assume you're looking straight at your screen. So keep everything squared off towards your screen. And just keep coming side to side. One more each way. Bring them back in the center. So we're going to go back to our left leg. You're going to take your strap or towel to your left foot. Pull your toes back. Looks like this from the side. You're going to really press your heel out. Push your foot into your towel or strap or your tie, whatever you have that you're using. Sit tall. Okay, so we're not here. We're up here, lift the chest, push the heel out, take a couple of breaths here. All right, nice job. So we're gonna lift that leg, and I want you just to lift it to wherever you can go with this, okay? So you're gonna lift the leg, and keep, again, keep pressing your heel out, keep pulling the toes back towards your knee. Okay, just getting a little deeper stretch into that. Maybe you lift it a little bit more. And if your knee is bent and you want to try to lengthen your leg and really push that foot into your strap, that is great. But I want you to be careful. Make sure you don't feel any pain there around your knee. If you do, just keep the bend in your knee. Okay? So we're going to take another breath or two here. Again, we're really extending that heel out. Pulling the toes back, pressing into the towel strap with the ball of the foot. All right, so let's go ahead and drop it down. So we're going to come back into center where we started, and we're just going to take it out to the side and bring it back in. So we're just going to open and shut. Open and shut, working into that hip. All right, so just go as far as you want to go with this. Okay, maybe it's just a little movement. Maybe you're just going in here. That's fine. Just take it out and in. Out and in. Great job. We've got a couple more. Just working into that hip. <sighs> okay, three more. That was it. That was the third one. Let's go ahead and bring it back into center and we'll switch sides. So take your towel or strap or tie, your opposite foot, send the heel out, pull the toes back, sit tall. Pressing again the ball of the foot into your strap. Good job, you guys. Again, notice that posture, notice your breath. And again, same goes for here, too. If your knee is bent, try to lengthen it out. But again, if that's uncomfortable, if that causes you any discomfort, just go ahead and back off and bend the knee again. We always just want to go to that edge where we're getting that deepest stretch without causing any pain. All right, so let's take a couple more breaths here. Press the heel out. Super job. All right, so we're going to lift that leg. And again, maybe it's just a little bit. Maybe it's a lot. It's really up to you. Just getting a little deeper into that right leg. Pressing the heel out. See how this side feels. Maybe this side feels different than the other side. And remember, when we do this lengthening in the leg, it is really good for those muscles around your knee. If you've ever done therapy for your knees, they probably have you do something like this where you're strengthening those muscles around the knee. 
So just think about that, right? Everything we do has a purpose. And we'll take another breath or two here. All right, so we're gonna come back down and then we're gonna go open shut. Open shut with that leg working into the hip. So this draft of towel is just in your one hand. Same hand as leg. Open and shut. Get that movement in your hip. Got to keep these hip joints moving. Keep them supple. Super job, you guys. We'll take a couple more. All right, way to go. Go ahead and set that strap or towel aside. I'll slip my little shoes. These are actually, they look like slippers, but they're, well, they're indoor outdoor shoes. You can do anything with these shoes, they're awesome. Okay, so let's sit real tall, take a big deep breath, inhale and exhale and put your arms down and let's start marching out those legs. Getting a nice steady march. Great job. Let's get those legs warmed up. All right, so let's go ahead and run it out. Get those hot feet. Super job. And then bring it back into center. We're going to go for high knees here. So high knees. Bring those knees up nice and tall. Bring them up as tall as you can. So just being very intentional, lifting each knee. Planting the foot after you lift. Great job. Notice your posture. Super. Bring it on back into center. So we're going to do our typewriter movement. So we're going to do those hot feet to the side. So slide it over to the side. If it doesn't work for you, you can just stay in center and do your hot feet. Okay, I'm just getting those legs really moving. Awesome job. Way to go, ladies. Couple more. All right, let's bring it on back in the center. We're gonna start over with the march. Let's do that all over again. We'll start with that march. Very nice. Go for your happy feet, your hot feet. Get those legs moving. Again, notice your posture. I notice even my posture. I'm starting to lean forward. <laughs> Keep it tall. Keep your core strong. Great job. All right, so bring the feet down and then we'll do our knee lifters. So lifting intentionally and then again, planting those feet down. All right, super job. Couple more. And bring it back in the center. We'll go for typewriter to go to the side, go the other way. Go to the side, go the other way. Good job. Hopefully you have a slippery pair of leggings on like I do. <laughs> and a somewhat slippery chair. So just slide across. Super job. Let's do one or two more sets here. All right, bring it on back in the center. Then we'll go back to our march. We'll go back to our walk. All right, very nice. So we're going to grab our cans. So we're going to move those arms with our legs now. So we're going to go through it again. I want you to do whatever you want to do with your arms. Okay, maybe you're here. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're here. Or maybe you're here working on your biceps. Okay, so working arms and legs. You guys got this. All right, when you're ready, let's go for those hot feet. And you can switch those arms around. If you want to take them to the side, take them in the front. Whatever you want to do, just keep working those arms. Try to get those legs moving again. All right, 
super nice. So let's go to our high knee lift. Lift those legs intentionally. I'm gonna sync up my arms with my legs. Lifting, lifting, breathing. Great job. You guys are doing awesome. Again, this one is kind of a little bit of a free-for-all with those arms. So do what you like. Okay, we've got one more movement with the legs. We're gonna go to our typewriter. So it's easiest to hold on to your chair and do your typewriter. You can drop your weights, or maybe you just wanna keep them here. It's up to you. Whatever you wanna do with those weights. If you wanna keep moving those arms with the weights, or if you wanna hold on to the chair and do your typewriter. All right, keep tapping. Keep tapping away at that typewriter. And we'll come on back into center. All right, super job. We'll give our legs a break. We're gonna take those arms overhead, so big breath up with your weights. Float them down. Take it up, and this time we're gonna turn, so we're gonna twist those wrists, twist those hands as you float the arms down. Take it back up, same thing. Keep twisting, keep rotating into those wrists. Take it down and take it back up. Very nice. So take your two weights together and take them behind you. We're going to drop and then lift. Drop and lift. This works your triceps. So elbows are pointed forward. Your upper arms are somewhere near your ears, the side of your head. You're going to lift. Lift, lift, lift. As always, notice your posture. Notice your breath. Keep lifting. Got a few more here. Good job. And bring it on back into center. Great job, you guys. So lean about 45 degrees forward. We're going to do our flies. So we're going to lift and lift and lift and lift. So remember, you're working your upper back here. You're looking down at the ground. You don't want any strain on your neck. Breathe. Beautiful job. Keep breathing. Keep that core strong. Always engaging that core. Got a couple more here. All right. Go ahead and come on up. Just circle out your shoulders a little bit. Do anything that feels good. Kind of loosen everything up. And then we're going to lean forward again. And we're going to go into our rows. So we're going to pull those elbows up. Drop. The weights down, pull the elbows up. Okay, again, you're about 45 degrees. You're looking down at the ground, keeping your neck neutral and safe. Breathing. As you're feeling super, keep pulling those elbows up. You're working into the back, you're working into the back of those arms. Triceps, breathe. Great job. Let's do a few more here. All right, come on up. So again, if you want to circle out your neck, circle out your shoulders, take a little break here. Do anything that feels good, take a big breath. Remember, guys, you can always grab a sip of water if you need it. All right, so we're going to incorporate the two. So we're going to go flies and then rows. Flies and then rows. Let me take a chin for the side. I should have done this before. Flies and rows. But I know you guys know what you're doing. I know you guys got this. You guys got this. Good arm and upper back. 
back work. It's good to recognize what you're working, right? Makes you more intentional about your movement. Notice that breath. All right, super job. Let's do two more sets. All right, super job, you guys. Go ahead and set your weights aside. Oh, very nice. Come on back into center. Take a big breath up. Inhale and float it down and exhale. And do that again. Big breath up. We're going to take a twist here. So when you come down, go ahead and switch my music. Go ahead and find a twist. Okay, so you're in your twist. Opposite hand to opposite knee, looking over your back shoulder. And then we'll come back into center. Big breath up, inhale. We'll go to the other side for a twist. Opposite hand to opposite knee, looking over your back shoulder. All right, so coming back into center, we're gonna go into our warrior two pose on our chair. So you're gonna take one leg forward and the opposite leg back. Your back leg is stretched out. Your foot is turned out about 45 degrees. Okay, you kind of have to get close to the edge of the chair, so just make sure you're safe. Arms are out. Okay, you're gonna look over your front middle finger. Drop your shoulders. A lot of people tend to do this thing. Drop the shoulders down. Check your back arm. Don't let this one float down. Okay? Kind of drop it down. Keep those arms strong. So we're going to reach back. We're going to do that reverse warrior. We're going to take the right hand to the back leg and that left hand reaches back. Very nice. Look up towards that left hand. And then we're going to take that left arm to your front leg and the opposite arm reaches over. So nice big stretch here. In this side of your body. Great job, you guys. So let's do that again. So come to your warrior two position. Look forward. Let's reach back. Reverse that warrior. Stretch it back. Reach down the back leg. Come back to warrior two. And then take your front arm to your front leg and the opposite arm reaches over. Really lovely side body stretch here. Okay, back to warrior two. Great job. So we're going to switch to the other side. So just turn everything around. Okay, come into your warrior two. If you guys want to do this standing, you're, all, you're very welcome to do that as well. All right, so again, make sure your back foot's turned out. You're lengthening that back leg. You're looking over your front middle finger. Shoulders are dropped. And then we're going to reverse. We're going to reach back. Lengthening, reaching down that back leg, and then back to warrior two, and then your front arm to your front leg, and the opposite arm reaches over. So that nice side body stretch. So your bottom palm is facing up here. Super job. So let's go back to warrior two. Take it back, reverse, use the back. Find your warrior two. And then go to your extended side angle with your front arm on your front leg, opposite arm reaching. Very nice. We'll go back to our warrior two. Super job, you guys. All right, bring everything back into center. And we're going to cross right hand, left hand to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder. We're going to do our sit to stands. We're going to stand up, sit it down, stand up. Sit it down. Go at your own pace. Okay, you don't have to go at my pace. But when you stand up, make sure you stand all the way up. Okay, so I even want you to think about pushing your hips forward. Okay, see how I'm doing that? Sitting down and then standing up. Pushing the hips a little bit forward. Okay, that's a really nice little movement into those hips. Okay, so we want to fully extend all the way up. All right, good job, you guys. We'll take a couple more here. Watch your breathing. And then we'll 
Sit it back down. So we're going to cross the opposite way. You take the opposite hand on top, opposite arm on top. Okay, so same thing. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. All you did was switch the opposite arm is on top. We'll do it again. Okay, stand and sit. Stand and sit. Make sure that chair is right where it should be. Make sure you're, hey, you feel safe sitting and standing. Maybe you need to look over your shoulder. That's fine. Take your time. It's more about doing it correctly than it is about getting a whole bunch of these in, right? So keep breathing. And this is, I've told you guys before, but this is really good, obviously, for your legs and your core, but also it's really good for your pelvic health. Okay, stick to that pelvic floor, which most of us at the age needs a little help. So lots of good benefits with this movement. Right. Let's do two more. And sit it back down, great job. Release those arms, just shake those arms out. You can swing them around or whatever feels good. Maybe cross them in front. Loosen everything up. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and come to standing. All right, we're just going to do a balancing pose. Good job, you guys. So plant your foot that is next to the chair. Plant that foot, plant that leg. So you want that strong leg. You're holding onto your chair. Lift your outside leg up. Keep your hand to your waist. Okay, we're going to open and shut, sending the knee out and then bringing it back in. So this works into the hips like we were earlier. This is that open shut movement. So you're getting lots of good hip work today. Just draw it out and back in. And again, you determine how far it goes, okay? If you have to go all the way out, maybe your movement is small. That's fine. You're still working into that hip joint. Breathe. We've got three more here. There's three. And two. And last one. Bring your knee forward. We're going to hold here in our balancing pose. Okay, so I want you to find a focal point in front. Find something you can focus on. Hold right here. Keep that standing foot and leg really strong. Use the four corners of your foot. So maybe you take your outside hand up, like a tree branch. Maybe you take your hand off the chair just for a second and drop it back down. Okay, or maybe you try two seconds, or maybe you continue to hold on to the chair. That is totally fine. Okay, take your option that you feel safe with. If you feel like you're working on your balance, but still very safe. So again, make sure you're focusing on one spot. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Great, super job. Take it down, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side, shake those arms out. Go to the other side of your chair. So again, you're gonna start with your hand on your chair. You're gonna plant that foot next to the chair, plant that leg. Think about the four corners of your standing foot. Outside leg comes up, so that knee comes up. Hand on the waist. So here we are. Oh, and your foot is flexed. I may not have said that before, I'm sorry. Um, keep your foot flexed here. So we're gonna open it up and shut. Open and shut. Open and shut. You can feel that lovely movement into your hip. Creating nice strong hips. Right. Become resilient so we don't get injured, right? Yeah. Make sure you stay off of those sleds too. <laughs> don't recommend sledding anymore. All right. So we'll take a few more of these. Just keep opening and shutting. And then bring it on back into center. So keep that knee high, keep your foot flexed, find your focal point. Okay, we're gonna go for a balance here. So maybe you stay right here. 
Maybe you take that outside arm up. Maybe you take the hand off of the chair just for a second or two. Just play with it and see what you feel comfortable with. And again, make sure you stay safe. Breathe. Focus on that one spot. All right, super job, you guys. Take one more breath. And then go ahead and lower it down. Great job. Go ahead and shake that all out. Very good. Nice job. And let's take a big breath up. Inhale. Sit it down. Exhale. Big breath up. Inhale. Sit it down. Exhale. One more time. Big breath up. Inhale. And sit it down and exhale. Turn to your chair and take your uh, take a leg up, right leg or left leg. Go ahead and fold over. Pull your toes back. Just get a nice stretch into the back of that leg. Okay, so we're just going to stay here for a few breaths. Find a position that works for you. Pull your toes back. Working in your hamstrings and your calf muscles. One more breath here. Go ahead and come on up and we'll switch opposite leg on the chair, opposite foot on the chair. And just fold over, roll the toes back. Again, just think about the areas you're working in hamstring, calf muscle. Okay, take a few more breaths. You guys are doing great. All right, super job. Come on up. So we're gonna take our hands to the chair. We're gonna take a side lunge. So we're just gonna bend to the side. Okay, so that back leg is bent. Working in your inner groin muscles here on that front leg, lengthening on that front leg. Okay, so we'll just take a breath here. Super, let's come back to center. We'll go the other way. So bend that front leg, stretch out that left side. Do what you can do. Do what works for you. Using that breath as a, as a tool, right, as you move through your class, as you move through your practice today. Come back in the center. We're going to do that one more time, not quite as long. Let's go ahead and bend that left knee, stretch out that right side. I'm going to come in the center and go the other way. Bend the right knee, stretching out the left side. Great, super job. Go ahead and come back in the center. You can toe heel your way back in or whatever way you want to come back in. Come to your chair. Go ahead and sit down. And we're going to do our hip flexor stretch. So we're going to get kind of in that position we were in in our warrior two. So one leg is back, the opposite leg is forward. But this time you're just on the ball of your back foot. Okay, and we're stretching out these hip flexors right here. So find a position where you feel the deepest stretch. Take a few breaths. Lengthening out all these hip flexor muscles on the front side of your hip. Last breath. All right, great job. Come center and switch. Opposite leg in front, take the other leg back, get that nice lengthening on that back leg. You're on the ball of your back foot, coming out of the chair. Notice these hip flexors here. How can you get the best stretch with your body leaning back, maybe in the center, maybe forward? Find your best stretch. One or two more breaths here. Super job, you guys. All right, come back in the center. 
Great job. Super, super job. Let's take that right leg up. Sorry, left leg up. Take your triangle shape, lean forward into it. This is working the hip from different direction. You can kind of feel it maybe in your glute muscles. Let's just lean in. Look down. Take a few breaths. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Other side, same thing. And remember, this is always an option. Put the foot down there. Lean into it. Notice your breath. Notice what you feel on this right side. Couple more breaths. Do the job. All right, way to go. Let's come on up. So for our last stretch, working into our spine, we're gonna round the chin. We're gonna pull the belly button in, drop the head. Get that nice rounding in your spine. Exhale out the air. Inhale, lift your chest. Lift your gaze, pull your shoulder blades together in the back. We'll do it again, exhale and round. And think about separating your shoulder blades in your upper back. Get that nice, nice stretch into the upper back. And then inhale, bring the chest up, bring the chin up, pull the shoulder blades together in your back. One more set, way to go everybody. Last time, let's make it count. Round the spine, drop the chin. And then lifting the chest and the chin and bringing the shoulder blades together. Opening up the chest. All right, bring it on back into center, super job. Sit nice and tall, take a big breath in, take the breath all the way up, stretch it up to the sky, big exhale, take it down, sweep the arms back. Let's do it again, big breath up, inhale, stretch it all the way up to the sky. Exhale, take it down and back. And one more time, inhale up, and exhale, and float it all the way around, take it all the way back up. So we're just gonna bring the head down now and just rest the body on the legs. And just relax here. The body on the legs, just let your head hang, let your neck relax. We'll take a few breaths. All right, very nice. Gently come on up, slowly. Just bringing that spine up, bringing your back to your chair. Let's take in one more big breath here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Eyes are closed. Just let yourself rest. Get comfortable. Let your arms float to your sides. Maybe your head kicks back and just rests on your chair. Maybe you scoot your hips forward to let your legs stretch out more. Find the best position for yourself right here where you can get as relaxed as possible. And then just thinking about your feet and your toes and just letting them fully release and let go. Notice the heels of your feet. Notice your ankles. Let them relax and release. Notice your lower legs, your knees, and your upper legs. Your legs completely relax. And those quadriceps and hamstrings relax. And take that feeling of relaxation all the way up into your hips. 
Notice your pelvic floor, notice your tailbone, notice your glute muscles. Let all of that relax all the way into your lower back. Just release, maybe you need to shift around a little to become more relaxed, that's totally fine. Just continue to breathe. So now just letting your entire spine relax, your entire back, all the muscles in your back, your rib cage. Just let it all go. And then thinking about the front side of your body, your belly and your chest. Just allowing all of that to let go. Just give your body permission to relax. Take that feeling all the way up into your neck and then down your shoulders and down your arms. Let those arms fully relax, let the hands fully relax all the way down to your fingertips. Just notice the hands and arms becoming more soft and more heavy. And then following this feeling all the way back up again, back up to your neck and into your jaw, allowing the jaw to unhinge. Allowing the tongue to drop down in your mouth and allowing your entire mouth to relax. And then bringing attention to your cheeks and the muscles in your face. Just let all of those muscles relax. Your forehead, your eyes. Just release all the muscles in your face. And then all the muscles in your head. Just let all of them relax. Really noticing how the head becomes very heavy. Just feeling your breath, the softness of your breath. And then thinking again about 2 Corinthians 12, 9, which says, and of course this would be Paul, he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. And the following verse, uh, verse 10, it says, That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, and in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So I know this is backwards. It's backwards of all we know. We don't like insults or weaknesses or hardships or persecutions. We don't like any of that. But Paul, with God's help, gives this wonderful perspective of it. That when we are weak, God's power shows up. He blesses us. He gives us purpose. It's a lot to wrap our minds around. So just take a moment here, though, to just soak that up. Your weaknesses are a blessing. Your weaknesses show God's glory. Let's take a moment here while we rest and breathe and reflect.
go ahead and bow our heads. We'll finish up with our prayer. Wonderful job, everybody. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, we're just so thankful for your word that um, it just tells us so many amazing things, but how amazing to think that when we have difficulties and challenges and weaknesses, those are good things, those are blessings, because that's where you make us strong, and that's where you show your power. So thank you for your word that reminds us of this important thing. And God, I um, just pray your blessings on these beautiful women. I pray that this blesses them from the inside out and from top to bottom. I feel that they, I pray that they feel renewed and refreshed because of you, Lord God. And Lord God, I um, just thank you that um, we can have this time together and just be a blessing to one another. Lord, we're so grateful that you died on the cross for us. We're so grateful that you took the punishment of our sins. We know we can live freely. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen and amen. All right, thanks you guys for joining me. God bless you all.